hi there, I just want to do a talk and um, at the start of this video I had a um, picture of the kittens that we've just had and as you know, you know, I like to do videos all different kinds of videos, you know, I've, I've actually done little films well, big films actually i done, um, there's a thing on YouTube you can look it up tight if you type in Sean Taylor, non-duality, the movie and that's, that's, that's a movie, you know, that I made um, using different apps on, on this iPad that I bought this year. Oh, it's a great thing, this iPad. I bought this iPad and it came with um, great apps. One of them is Garage Band. I use a lot of loops from that um, for, from, for music that, that I make. Um, it came with some video apps as well. And I just use, I just use them. Same with this video here. I use like, um, you know, you can download like backing music from Apple iTunes and you can put it onto the video so it's really cool but I like to do all different videos sometimes with me just facing the camera or sometimes just with a nice pic a picture sometimes the picture's better looking than I am <laughs> you know so um, I just want to talk about the fact that it's not about you know anyone if so if anyone thinks that they want to explain a reason of why they eat meat or why they don't or why they think it's better or worse that's that that's that's not the way you know it's not about being better because we've first got to realize that whilst we're thinking we're better that's an endless chase you know if you always think that you're better than or you want to be better than people that that's just an endless chase and you'll never be satisfied um and i know a lot of this because i used to be this way you know, and it, it doesn't really work. You've got to humble yourself down. You've got to realize that there's no better or worse because everything must start from nothing at some stage, meaning infinity. Meaning if everything started from the same nothing, then it's it's that's what oneness really means. So we're just have we're just in different forms within the same infinite nothing. And the, obviously the infinite nothing is infinite awareness to produce a something. Um but what, that we're all one, you see, and so all this doing better, it has to, it has to go, um, because, yeah, you see all these people um, make excuses for, like, why they eat meat or why, and they obviously feel bad, and some of them will even ta attack vegetarians or you know, and you know, I I am eating vegetarians and I'm killing something also, you know, in a sense, I suppose I am. But it's not about killing or not killing, it's about trying to do the best you can. You know, that's what it's about, not criticising each other, and because that doesn't get us anywhere. It just creates enemies, um, and that's just it. I'm not really interested in that, you know, I don't really associate myself with um, low vibrations like that, or people that just want to try and, you know, bring you down because they don't feel good. And that's why people do it. That's why people um, always try to make an excuse. Like, like if I'm talking about anti-war, like I, one of the things I say, and I'll say it again, is without soldiers, wars aren't possible. And lots of people don't like that. Because they've been programmed to support the soldiers, and they, and they want to believe that they're doing a great thing. When actually, many soldiers do kill. <laughs> many soldiers have murdered people. Right? And I don't know how someone can live with themselves having done that. Right? I don't know how anyone killing someone, right, can live with themselves. How you can do that. But if I was in that position, it would be very difficult, you know, if you're in that position um, and you killed someone. So we've got to, th you know, think of that also. You know, um, there will be there will be some soldiers that that reg have deep regret, and this is why why people need to work against war. Because imagine the kind, imagine if you are a compassionate person, you were a soldier, and you did kill, but you really th wish you didn't, and so this would mess your head up. So these, so so, you know, and and war probably affects people more than I can un ever understand, and this is why I am. Um, do, do videos and, and say things against it and try and make people aware that like yesterday I was watching a John Lennon 
talk on anti-war and he was saying that we are the government just like I keep saying it's so obvious see war is a conscious collective decision that's it it doesn't it can't just happen by one person if a flock of animals wanted to were hungry and they had to kill something they would have to probably team up together unless it's a single animal that does it by itself but if they needed a pack the same with war war is a collective decision so we create we create wars ourselves because we are all a collective right there's many people on the planet and together we make the decisions of society so the, the, by making those decisions of society then we create that outcome collectively that's what we do and people have got to start being aware of this Otherwise, the wars will just continue. You know, you'll still to support the red poppy, not realizing that all that all that that's really for isn't to support dead people, isn't to support all victims of war. It's just to keep this war machine going, and that's why I don't have anything to do with the red poppy. If I do buy a poppy, it's always the white poppy, which is to support all victims of war. I used to buy red poppies before I woke up. And then I started to um, think, you know, and this awakening came and that obviously made me think deeper. But I was always pretty much anti-war, even in my early 20s, for this awakening. For the age of 24, I, was, I, I thought jo what John Lennon did was cool, was, really, was a really great thing. And, um, th that was, and I always thought, that's the real hero. People like Muhammad Ali, John Lennon, people that did things against it. I mean, Muhammad Ali went to prison, John Lennon died because of it. Because they want, they want you promoting war. You know that's 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 the way it is. They want they want the masses being programmed into this war, so that the masses believe and repeat all the time: war is freedom. We are free because of because of soldiers. So what you're saying is war is freedom. That's what they're programmed to say. And so whilst you think war is freedom, you you will then keep promoting and keep allowing this war machine to continue. And war is not freedom. You know, it, 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 war is not freedom, it just keeps on going, doesn't it? We, we still have wars. And it keeps going on and going on and going on and going on. It doesn't end. And it won't end until people actually wake up and see that it's just a game, it's just a machine to keep people dying. Right? Um, and and that, that's what it is. And, and so... That, that's that's obviously what and why I do these videos to try and raise awareness of this kind of thing and also the save animals on on the picture as well you know it's and I, I said to my mum the other day I said I said a lot of stuff I talk about doesn't actually benefit me you know I, I, I don't benefit from much of the stuff I talk about I don't benefit by talking I could just talk about spiritual awakening and I could keep away from all this war stuff, but I can't. It makes my blood boil. It makes, I know that it's wrong. I know that people are, shouldn't be doing it. And I know that they're being brainwashed. They're being programmed. And it's, and I, and it's just, and if I didn't do something, I believe that I would be committed a crime by not saying something and not doing something about, against this. And that's what they're trying to do with the smart grid. They're still, they're trying to brainwash people further with the smart grid. And with political correctness, that's just a way to tighten and narrow down the opinions. Because what they do is they make the masses, they convince them that they're right. And that the, the, the um, opinion that's not political correct, politically correct, is wrong. And therefore that should be banned. And th this is just going more and more and more. They use things like racism, which is right. They should be doing that. I mean, that's just evil. That's Anything hurting someone is, is the only thing that's wrong. But they use that to start and then it just goes on, goes on. Until you can't see nothing. It's just a game. They're just trying to narrow down so that so that AI becomes human thinking and linked with the human brain. And that's what they're even saying, you can look it up. So that um, the only thing you're repeating is what the AI tells you. So But anyway, I'm just gonna end it there. Thank you much for watching. Listen.